So I really love art. For this video, I decided that I would talk about each piece of art on the wall. We're going to pay particular attention to this lady. She's the one who haunts my dreams at night. And since I have blue hair right now, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna paint my face, but I look just like her. And so I did. I found this painting at a thrift shop. I was really intrigued by the idea of somebody throwing out a painting. She's beautiful, like a mermaid. There's also a tree behind her, and she seems to be naked. It's kind of reminiscent of Eve, who is not a mermaid, I don't think. Anyway, I love looking at this painting. I think she's beautiful, except when she haunts my dreams at night. All right, let's start up here. So this is a photograph of a lighthouse, and on the back is an address and a name. Arland Fritz. I would like to introduce you to Hipster Mermaid. I bought her from an Etsy shop called Nan Lawson. I personally think that she should have a high-waisted tail. This is a golden pumpkin that my little sister Bethany painted for me. It just kind of makes me really happy. Next up is the original Rosie the Riveter. She's strong, she's muscular, she's eating a stinking sandwich, she's dirty, she's hardworking. I'm actually surprised that this is the only Norman Rockwell painting on my wall because Norman Rockwell is my absolute favorite. Right, next up is a painting that my dear friend Catherine painted for me. All the different things that I like. So tea, ukulele, globe, macaroons, books, cameras, baking, knitting, a cast iron skillet. When I studied abroad in London, I brought a tiny, tiny baby little cast iron skillet with me in my suitcase. Gnomes. Catherine's so talented. So this is a painting of a mermaid. I think it's kind of a classic representation of a mermaid that wants to be on land but can't because she has a tail. Oh, this I also got on Etsy. I meant to put an apostrophe right there so that it's grammatically correct, but then I forgot to before I put it in a frame. And a couple days later, it fell off my wall. The glass completely shattered. So now I think is the appropriate time to be the grammar police. Much better. A cutie pie painting of all the different things that you might bring camping. The Etsy shop for this one is called The Little Canoe. This is a photograph I took on a disposable camera on our second anniversary. We took like a day camping trip to the mountains where we had a fire and cooked in cast iron skillets. Also, I brought Sharpies and then we found big rocks to write on and then we wrote each other little notes. He wrote something really sweet. I just wrote, you rock, in all caps. A photograph of me and my older sister Robin back when we were smooth criminals. I went to the Chicago Art Institute and stumbled upon an amazing Magritte exhibit. Um, I love surrealist art. I love Salvador Dali. I love Vladimir Kush. Speaking about surreal art, I thought I would jump down to this print of Salvador Dali. Friend Anna, who's a beautiful artist, she's the one that gave me that one. She made a bunch of prints of this quote. My eyes heard, so to speak, beneath each snowflake, the crackling of all the precious fires of the Orient. And Salvador Dali's face, um, and gave them to a bunch of friends. And they all turned out different, and they were all beautiful and wonderful and amazing. So this painting is done by one of my favorite artists, John William Waterhouse. I don't really know how to explain like why she's so dear to me, but she is. That's one of my favorite things about art though, is that you can kind of develop a personal meaning for it over time. I originally bought this painting at a thrift shop because I just wanted to use the frame. It's kind of like the ideal afternoon in my mind. You know, she's lounging on this window seat. It's got a pot of tea. Now of all the paintings on this wall, I'm not going to say that it's my favorite because that's like picking a favorite child. It's nothing like picking a favorite child. If I could pick any painting on this wall to go into, it would be this one. I love that there are magical sparks up here. Like that's just such a beautiful, perfect detail. I love the flowers in her hair. I love what she's wearing. I love that she has a little flute. She's surrounded by all of these like baby gnomes and they have 
glowy things and they have glowy hats and there's flowers and they're tiny and adorable and precious. So this is a photo transfer that I did on this wood loggy thing. There's kind of some discoloration a little bit around. It was actually my test run. So I gave him the good one, but I still thought it turned out well enough for me to keep. Painted embroidery hoop that one of my best friends, Jessica, gave to me in high school. That Eleanor Roosevelt quote, do one thing every day that scares you, is one of my favorites. It's such good advice. I think you grow the most when you're in incredibly uncomfortable situations. We had this thing going for a while, me and Jessica, where we would report to each other something terrifying that we had done that day. We would try to outdo each other by doing brave things. And last, but certainly not least, is this painting by John Singer Sargent that I originally saw in London at a museum. Another thing that I really love about art is that everybody can have their own interpretation, which can also be really frustrating. I looked up this painting online because I wanted to see what other people were saying about it. The most common interpretation I found was that it was talking about little girls losing their innocence in a sexual way. Because they're in a garden, so it's like the idea of flowering, deflowering, and they're like lighting something, which is like igniting the passion. But I just think that's kind of dumb. To me, it's a really hopeful image. To me, it's an interesting idea that you would give a tiny little girl fire. And to me, this is the idea that in order to have a better, more hopeful future, we need to trust young people. Thanks for letting me ramble about art, and I'll see you next week, Callie. I think we need to get one more shot of me and her together. Dang it, I don't have a gold earring. got better cheekbones than I do.